<laughs> All right, YouTube. Uh, my brother Jeremy and me are about to play a game. It's uh, 40K, 2,000 points. Jeremy, what mission and what, uh, what deployment are we using today? We're doing pitch battle and capture control. We have an objective here, and we have an objective I'm sorry, here. wait. Is that a banana? Jeremy, would you like to explain what our terrain is today? Uh, our terrain is a uh, lovely antique from our mother's home. We see somebody who got to bring terrain. Was that you? <laughs> so we just gathered some things around the house. You know, so we got salt and pepper shakers and some serving dishes and some antique food. My guys are taking shelter, shelter behind the grapes. So, you know, it's all about gaming, having fun, and that's what we're doing. All right. Jeremy, why don't you give the world a rundown of your army today? Okay, here's a rundown of my army. Everything's on the table except for a unit of four Terminators with combi plasmas and a unit of nine lesser demons. We've got a defiler with the extra Havoc launcher, uh, two units of two obliterators, five noise rings with the blast master and a Havoc launcher on the Rhino with demonic possession. Um, a Lash Prince here. We've got a unit of nine possessed with the icon of corn here. Uh, a unit of eight plague marines with an icon. Two melted guns, uh, champ with the power fist, and ten berserkers, champ with a power weapon. Um, a total of ten in that squad. Both of these rhinos have extra armor. Or can I turn on the light real quick? It was really dark. It's actually kind of hard to focus. Yeah, that's not much better. Okay, and um, on the other side of the board, we have two thousand points of nids. We have three old school zone throws leading a squad of uh, dacagons. We have one scrat or homemade homebrew turbagon. Uh, three Hive Guard, we have uh, one Tyranid Trigon Prime, two Zoan or Venom Thropes, an old school Carnifex. Um, what else we got? Oh, one more Turbigon and a squad of warriors with Lash Whip and Bone Swords led by a Prime with a pair of Bone Swords. Uh, what's the mission again? Uh, the mission is capturing control. Uh, so we have an objective here in my deployment zone, and an objective here in his deployment zone. The Overall board size is a bit short, so we've only got seven inch pitch battles, so we've got seven inch deployment zones uh, to ensure that we have still have a 24 inch battle zone, but only seven inch deployment zones on each side. Okay. And Jeremy's going to try to steal the initiative. I'm going to do it right here on camera. Boom. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <they're on> <laughs> Jeremy can't, that's what you get. The whole world will know. <laughs> You're going to crop this to put it at the end of the match on a blast. No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. At least <laughs> All right, guys, it's about to turn one, start to turn two. Jeremy, why don't you tell us what's happened? I'll tell you what's happened. Some bullshit this happened. <laughs> okay, so here's what's happened. In uh, turn one, um, his movement phase, he advanced most of his troops up. Uh, not a whole lot of action other than the hive guard um, shooting and uh, wrecking this uh, rhino, which the possessed came out of. Um, they made their way toward the turbagon, which is positioned here. My demon lash prince advanced here. I was going to try to lash him over here to try to mob him. Uh, Demon Prince suffered perils, died in hand to hand against this. These guys are just kind of waiting for the oncoming, st uh, oncoming storm, but we did do some wounds uh, to the Turbogon. Trigon. Trigon, excuse me. Uh, the Blastmaster here took out a few uh, Tyranian warriors. Um, we got one more from um, the two players here. The, the battle cannon missed, only the wounded one. Um, so, more or less, all we did is uh, the Demon Prince died, and uh, about three warriors died. I lost my, uh, my rhino over here. So that is kind of where we are right now. All right, going into uh, turn two. Jeremy, we're at the bottom of turn two, about to go into turn three. You want to give us a quick synopsis of what happened? Yeah, on the bottom of turn two, um, more or less, um, we had a lot of shooting going on, a but not a whole lot of success. Uh, I mean, nothing was really dealt. Um, we had a lot of tournaments advanced down the field. Uh, over on the side of the field, the Plague Marines exited the Rhino and assaulted a unit of, I think, 16 to 19 Termigans. Yep. Uh, the Berserkers came cruising back around here, heading towards the objective. The Possessed advanced towards this way, um, clearing out two units of Termigans. Uh, over here, the Turbogon, after consolidating after killing two Obliterators, ended up over here, excuse me, Trigon, ended up over here, and the two Obliterators uh, rapid fire to finally dispatch it with only one wound left. Um, the Noise Marines and this Rhino advanced up the field, and the Defiler popped off a few shots and engaged this unit of the Tyranid Warriors in the hand-to-hand -hand combat where he shall remain. Um, interesting to see what's going to happen next turn. Uh, I've still got two units of reserve coming in. We've still got a lot coming, screaming down the field. This unit, I was hoping, was going to be tied in the hand-to-hand -hand a little bit longer. That's why I charged two units of Termigans, but I don't know that's going to happen, so uh, I imagine we're not going to see them next time we do this little neat yet. We're at the top of four going into five. Jeremy, give a quick synopsis. Okay, so what we've got here is uh, the Berserker sitting here tried to repair the Rhino. Uh, the Plague Marines that were officially fought the Termigans over here came over and charged both the Zoanthropes and the Hive Guard. 
Uh, the Hive Guard and the Zoe's did some damage to the Rhinos and mobilized them and built some armor to destroy, but that was about it. Uh, over here, the Lesser Demons appeared and assaulted Carnifex while he cleaned up on the Possessed. Didn't do any damage to him. Uh, Obliterates come over here, double, double tap the Turbagon, who dropped off some. over there. Who, <laughs> Just leave him, Mom, I got it. Who dropped off some Turbagons. Uh, <laughs> he tried to attack the rhino, but the rhino just pushed on through. Um, uh, Combi Plasma term uh, Chaos Terminators arrived and dispatched the Turbagon that had five wounds left. Um, and the Defiler finished up all the tier yeah. warriors. So what's going on here now is we're just trying to hold these guys up. The Turbagon is coming over to obviously poop out some Turbagons and contest this. And um, over here we're going to see if we can make a push on this objective and see how that goes. So it's, uh, it's coming down to the wire. It's all going to depend really on how much how much this hand to hand can get freed up in this next turn. All right, guys, real quick, we skipped turn five, four vid because turn five literally took three minutes. Jeremy, why don't you sum up the end of the battle? Okay, end of the battle. Um, let me drop the berserker here. Look at that. Uh, end of the battle, more or less, what happened is uh, everything is kind of cleared out. We we moved up here. The terminators took care of the bio wars in the back. We did some double tapping here to finish out the turn against. So again, this is the top of turn five, so everybody would have one more turn. Um, this is a lot of combat. There's just not a whole lot going on between the lesser demons and these monstrous creatures. Um, you know, they're either holding out their invul saves. They're or doing like one wound a turn, maybe. Right. It's not really moving. This is more or less a stalemate. The plague marines are chipping away, but these guys aren't good enough in hand to hand to take anything. Is but these guys aren't good enough to, to clear them all out. So it's just this is kind of a stalemate. Over here, the berserkers killed a bunch of termites here to clear them out. Obliterators over here, twin link bolter or twin link flammers some termites to clear them out. This guy's crapped out with only pooping out three termites. Uh, here you can see the dice where he actually uh, rolled the three turn again. So we'll have no problem clearing that out. He'll probably hang out here. I would imagine they would eventually win this thing. So it might be one contested objective over here if we played it out, but that over there is pretty solid. Uh, so we're calling it here. Even if we were able to do anything, this objective, these guys are about to get owned by these guys. So that's it. Bottom that's it. five, chaos victory. Good game. Good game.